Hello, it's your friend Daryl as a service Webster. Hey, there has been an update to Microsoft To Do. In fact, uh, checking it out on Twitter, it looks like they've opened up an insiders program. Insider programs are a way of getting access to um, new features that they're working on, so you can give feedback and they can test, of course, on the back end to see how people are using it. Now, Microsoft To Do is one way that I like to keep on top of tasks and, and organize my day. And I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd try this Insider program out. Now, I'm on an iPhone. Um, I'm not lucky enough to have both platforms, Android and iPhone. So I'm going to take you through a couple of things um, to do with To Do. Uh, let's uh, take a look at um, the scenario that's going to be available to us here. All right, we'll just uh, open up To Do, of course and jump into a task list um, that I've created for regarding 365. Now I've created a, a task here for a completing a slide deck and, and this is one way that I can manage my own personal productivity. Here's a task. Um, I want to complete this slide deck and the area that we're looking at here is, is a feature about adding a file. One of the questions I saw uh, today in discussion as people were trying this feature out was how do I attach this file to um, from, from an iPhone? And one capability we've had in, in newer releases of iOS is being able to browse our local files. Um, so they were just struggling a bit there with how to, to uh, attach this file. Now um, I wanted to show you how I attach a file um, that might be local on my phone but um, it's, it's actually sitting in OneDrive and it's making use of the integration between OneDrive on um, an iPhone so that you can browse these local files. Now first of all, oh, we'll just go back a bit here, um, we will take a look at OneDrive. I'm connected to Webster Tech, it's an Office 365 tenant. Uh, you can see my OneDrive files. The file that I'm after though is actually in a team site. Um, if I go into sites, um, I am interested in a file here in the DSD Ignite preparation team um, and I'm looking at a, um, a slide deck here that I want to um, pitch into. So it was general and there was one in here which was kind of a, a smaller deck to attach. So this is one way that I can attach these files. Now I can't do it directly here from OneDrive, but what I can do is browse that task or browse my files on my phone and attach it that way. Now, we'll go into add file, and the comment that this uh, a few people were making was, oh, we can only attach um, photos from our photo library, um, and yes, of course, okay, we can do that there. Um, I don't know if they've tried out anything with, with camera, but I can see potential um, for later, um, yes, we can take a photo, we can attach it that way. Um, some potential for having the smart camera, the office lens capability of taking a picture of a whiteboard and setting yourself a task to say, you know, put these into, into the minutes and tidy up some of the diagrams here. Um, so those are all capabilities there. How do we get this file from um, a site in Office 365 via the OneDrive integration with the iPhone? We'll add that file, we'll go into files. Um, and we'll just back up a bit here. We can browse locations and you can see my OneDrive files there. I could look at files on my iCloud, on, on my iPhone. Uh, we'll go into Webster Tech as a tenant. We'll go into Sites. Here's DSD as a site and into Documents. Um, and it was in General. And I was just going to attach this blurb here on Change. All right, so as we tap into that, um, it's going to and bring that file down and attach it. Just go back in here again. Always tends to have issues when I'm trying to demonstrate it, but there we go. It's grabbed it and um, and attached that to the task. Um, and we'll go back here. So it is now an attachment. We can work on it. And um, as you know, we can also share some of these tasks with our team members. If I tap that, I get a, a preview of, of the file. Now it just does bring um, to attention though, is this the best way to, to um, assign working on a file to someone? Um, do we attach the whole attachment or do we go through a better practice which is to uh, take a link to that file and point them to the single source of truth? So I'll leave you to find your own way there in terms of how it works for you. Maybe it is appropriate sometimes to attach a file locally uh, from your phone or maybe um, it is synchronized, as you can see, um, based on the, the OneDrive integration that we have on the phone. But that's how you do it. You can save that task, and of course you can come back and then work on it.
So I do encourage you to take a look at the, the Insiders program if you go into um, that tweet. Um, in fact, if I find the address, we'll read that out as it comes up. Do -do -do -do, all the redirections and what, okay, so it's to do.support. Um, dot helpshift.com and you're looking for a page there that allows you to uh, join either the Insiders program for your, for your Android or for your iPhone like you've seen here. That was Daryl as a service. Uh, do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and come and see us over here on Regarding 365 for tons of content, lots of good stories, um, videos, discussions and all sorts of things regarding Microsoft 365. Thanks for watching.